Anyway, uh, away from Manchester United, Newcastle against Arsenal is an intriguing tie. Wow, I didn't know Newcastle were 12. Uh, going into this match, obviously they've struggled so far this season. Many have them to finish regressed. top four. They have most definitely mm -hmm. regressed. Arsenal are favourites going into the tie, of course. Struggling with injuries as such, not really impressed over the last uh, couple of weeks. Well, they weren't bad at the weekend. Will that, will that, well, they dropped points. What, what do you mean? Drop points against... Well, it was, it was a top of the table clash. Yeah, you're still dropping I mean, points at home against Liverpool. If you're going to win the league, you've got to stop dropping points. Off the back of losing against Bournemouth. You got Patty... No, 2-2, you lose 2-0 You got Patty at right back. You then lose Gabriel during the game. But I'm sorry, you're if you're going to win the league, you can't be drawing games like they're doing at the moment. Oh, now, right. nobody thinks they're going to... Mark, you reckon Arsenal are going to lose? Continue with this poor four. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just think Newcastle are better than their position right now. I think Eddie Howe's a better manager than the position. I, I, and obviously... Why, Arsenal's though, Mark? What have you seen? What have you seen from Newcastle? They have been turgid, haven't they, most this season? No. I, I just think Newcastle, especially at home, are a, a, a decent side. I'm turning my back on them uh, for, for, for this one. Uh, and, and listen, while, while I, I agree with Mark, I, I think Newcastle are potentially a better team than, than 12. Eddie Howe is a better manager than, than a team in 12. There, there's been nothing... In, in Newcastle's last eight games, probably the, the highlight being a, a League Cup win against Chelsea last night and a draw at Manchester City. And, and that's it. Everything else has, has been disappointing. And, and that, for me, is why I just feel up against a slightly wounded Arsenal who, you know, will, will want to put so much of, of the, the previous couple of weeks right. Um, I, I just feel... I, I just don't think that this version of Newcastle that we've seen over, over the last uh, six or eight games have, have enough. You want to say something? Well... I think for long periods they were better than Liverpool last week. I think the problem arose, particularly in the first half, but I think the problem arose for them at 2 1 up, the sort of betwixt between playing a containment game. Mm. Liverpool make the triple substitution, which gives them a bit of momentum, and then the Gabriel injury uh, to coincide with Saliba been missing, and the changes that they had to make there with Kivior coming on. And Timber was, Timber was struggling for fitness from sort of 65, 70 minutes. So it wasn't an ideal scenario. They were able to make some changes at Preston for their Carabao Cup game, so they should be a bit fresher for the weekend. And I just, I just don't see it with Newcastle uh, this season. I mean, every now and again, I think they'll get a result. But that, that drive that they're getting from the St James's Park crowd that's been there before, that energy that they've shown, it, it's been missing for quite some time now. And I think it's difficult just to switch it on and off. And at the end of the day, whether Arsenal get three or four out or not, they're a better side and they're a stronger side.